In this ancient tale that was excised from the Hebrew Bible, it also describes the offspring of these encounters, a race of giants known as the Nephilim. The offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men were not completely human. They're what we would buy today called demigods. They were not necessarily homo sapien men, but homo superiors. Why? Yet, most of these stories have been suppressed. This is a paid program from Ronco. Welcome to Showtime's Great Night Giveaway Show. Hello, I'm Steve Bryant. I'm your show host today for a very special program. Today you're going to meet a man that some people call the Viceroy of Valley, the Count of all things culinary. Most people call him the King of the Kitchen. Let's give him a big round of applause. He's here today. America's in battle. I'm proud to call him my friend. John Cena. Oh, I shake your hand, but I'm going to down. Look at me. Okay. <laughs> That's bad. Okay. Problem solved. So, Ron? What really great innovative product have you brought us today? Well, Ron, Ron, and over here my cousin Arnold, who wants to show you my fabulous Showtime knife. How many of you have a knife that looks something like this? Oh, it was a good knife when you first got it. Maybe six months later, it got dull. You ever try to cut a tomato with one of these babies? Oh, boy, you poke it, you stab it, you jab it, you give it. Oh, my goodness gracious, the poor tomato has a hemorrhage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. My cousin Ron has come up with one of the most unbelievable knives that I've ever made my hand for. And one of the things that makes this so important is... Yo, Skrilled, wrap it hard. Food restaurant, they've been using our knife and the same tomato for six weeks. Here, pick up the bun, look underneath. Does that look familiar? That's why you're going hungry and you come out starved. You go into the discount store, find loaves of meat, and remember, that's a grapefruit. Look at this. Not a seed, not a drop of juice comes out because this is razor sharp. And the best part of it is, it's guaranteed to stay that way forever. Now, I proved to you how sharp the knife is, haven't I? Okay, I'm going to prove to you how sharp the knife stays. This is solid frozen food over here. Look at this. You go through frozen food like it wasn't even there. But here, we used to take and cut up a can to show you. They, they, they used to make these cans out of steel. Right now, they're making them out of aluminum. So I had to find something a little bit harder than aluminum. I had to find something really hard to cut. So I'm going to take this solid steel. Ham bones, chicken bones. Now, I'm not doing this to show you this is a hacksaw. You want to buy a hacksaw, you can buy them every day of the week. Hacksaw. Let's find out if the knife is still sharp, okay? Would you say, ladies and gentlemen, that this knife is still sharp? What would you expect to pay for a knife that's going to last you forever? Hmm? If you went down to a department store, a knife like this is going to cost you at least a hundred dollars. Well, with Ron, you know you're not going to pay a hundred dollars. You're not going to pay seventy dollars. You're not going to pay sixty dollars. How would you like to own this knife for three easy payments of only thirteen hundred dollars? Would you say it's worth it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs>